Okay. It's just very early afternoon, so looking at sort of about half twelve or so, I'm due to meet someone um, to go for a walk with Jack, a friend of mine. So we're going to go down to Kilrone and Castle with them. He likes having his rump rubbed. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> He's been a funny boy over the past 48 hours because yesterday he wasn't well at all. And I really wanted just to make this short video to say a huge thank you to those of you who left little comments on the video to say try honey and coconut oil. And so yesterday I made him up some honey and coconut oil. And what I did, I put a big teaspoon of honey and a big teaspoon of coconut oil into a bowl and I mixed it with hot water and sort of melted the whole thing. And um, so we ended up having like, it was the equivalent of about a teacupful of liquid in a bowl, cooled down. And he drank that, he loved it. He just loved it. So then um, I did him another one last, I wasn't going to do him another one last night, but when I climbed into bed, because I always leave my, my bedroom door open there, because he has his wee bed in here now. Now that we're going into the winter, you see, I've taken him out of the porch. I normally close the porch door and this is his little nest here. And he has his food just tucked in there. So last night when I went to bed in a way, I thought, oh, he's fine, you know. But then he started coughing again. So I got up and I made him another little, little, um, little medicine bowl. And um, he lapped that up. He loved it. And then I said, do you want to go outside? And he just stood looking at me. He didn't want to go outside. So he slept very, very well. And there was no coughing. And um, you can see his nose is lovely and bright. And his eyes are lovely and bright. And he's been in great form. So I made him up another little um, bowl of that this morning. He smells of coconut. He smells very sweet. Almost kissable, aren't you, Jack? <laughs> So, so I'm going to take him for a walk. Now, I haven't actually taken him to the vets this morning yet because I just want to hold off for maybe 24 or even 48 hours and see how this goes. Um, because I know that when I take him to the vets, they'll do the same to him as they did to my cats, which is basically give them a big injection of antibiotics or whatever it is they give them you know, or steroids, so they seem to be fine for a few days and then they sort of deteriorate again. <sighs> and I don't want to talk about my cats because I will get very, very upset. Um, anyway, um, so Jack is uh, is fine. Um, he's doing the odd wee kind of um, sneeze, but not really the cough as much. So, um, now... Look at the view out the window there. Let me just do a wee close up because you can actually see the outline of the mountain now. Now the trees are now the trees are losing their leaves. So I'm going to take you outside in a moment just to show you uh, the beautiful colours. But before I do that, I want to say a big, big thank you. Now you can see I've also been changing the covers on my sofas. Getting those nice warm woolly covers on. Oh, that was a big sneeze. So, um, now let me just go through here and get... Now, you know, of course, why he's doing this sneezing thing now. This is a wee bit of a habit he gets when he's excited. So let's just take him outside. Come on then, let's go outside. Once he's outside then, it'll be fine. Now, don't be getting excited. <laughs> oh, wee bit of a cough there. Anyway, I'm going to keep a really good eye on him, so don't worry about him. Um, if there's any change, if there's any worsening of this, he'll be whipped out to the vets very, very quickly. Um, but I just want to give this little medicine a, 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 a chance. So look at the beautiful colours. Aren't they fabulous and the blue of the mountain through the trees
and I went on to um, the YouTube channel of oh gosh no oh, I'm going to put a link onto this video okay um, uh, she's called Robin Robin who reviewed my books on her YouTube channel and I was reading down the comments and such fabulous comments there thank you to everyone who's left comments on Robin's channel because it's just so uplifting for me to read them, you know? Anyway, I want to say a thank you to the following people and I'll probably be collecting up more names as I go through the next few days. Um, and I'm going to make a video this week and saying thank you individually to all the people who um, support me on Patreon. Oh, it's just starting to rain, Jack. Jack, come on, we'll just run back up. Come on. I'll be taking you out shortly. I think the rain's going to pass. There's blue sky up there, look. And there's blue sky up there as well. So, um, let me just retreat. Look at all those beautiful leaves. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, J now Jack, come on now, don't be getting all excited. There we go. There we go. Sorry, because I'm just a bit bad. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Let me give you a little throw to ear up there. No. Yeah. Hmm, we'll see how you are on your walk. Hmm. I might just pop you up to see Susie later on. The only thing that um, <clears throat> bothers me about uh, the vets, you know, as I said, is that they do give these injections of antibiotics. And... Uh, I think that can lower their immune system. I mean, I personally, I personally don't go anywhere near the doctors, and I cert and I certainly don't um, uh, take any injections at all like that, or a medication. In fact, I'm medication free. Um, no, I'm just close this door. So. Um, Just give him a little treat. Have a wee dental stick. There you go. Have a wee dental stick there. Um. <clears throat> so anyway, let me just have a say a thank you. So I want to say thank you to Steve, Rowan, to Linda, Michelle McGarvey. Yvette Duffy, Deirdre Clark, Megan Primrose, Julie, Claire, that's Laura Gibson, and Simon Deleg. And just thank you all so much for the prezzies that you sent me. And they are deeply appreciated. And um, like I say, I'll probably be adding a few names onto there because I'm not too sure if I got all the names on the paper. Life here at Bealtaine Cottage can be a wee bit chaotic in the mornings because there's so much happening. And um, anything that comes through the post is delivered sort of halfway through the morning. And then is put on the kitchen table and sometimes it can be a few days before I really get to read everything that's there. Um, so... He's enjoying his dental stick, look. His appetite, by the way, has been fantastic. There's been no loss in his appetite at all. And uh, his energy, there's no loss on that. 
Um, his sleeping, there's no loss on that. He slept like a baby last night. He actually slept part of the night in um, on the floor beside where I sleep, um, on my side of the bed, you know where I sleep. He slept just underneath the bed there on the floor. And um, yeah, you can see he's, he's, in, he's in good form, very good form. And I don't want to risk diminishing his health with anything at this point. But like I say, I'll keep a very, very close eye on him. Yes. Because he's such a lovely boy and he's, he's been such a healthy dog as well, you see. I've, I've never kind of rushed him to the vets with anything too much. But I do keep a very good eye on him. Yeah. Hmm. Good boy, Jack. So, I shall say um, blessings to you all. And I might even get a chance later to make another video. Uh, this has been a nice sort of a a quiet day so far and there was a few things that I wanted to say um, very much to do with clearing out you know clearing stuff out and making room making room for energy to come in now that's been working incredibly well for me over recent months so I think I may just pull my thoughts together and make a video later on about this. Look, there's another couple of things I've cleared out. Two nice blue throws. They're going to the charity shop. Look, you see, he's settled now. He's had his dental stick. He's had a good drink of water. Yes, and he says, Mummy, just stroke my throat for me. Yeah, okay. Healing energy. Lots of healing energy. Blessings to you all. Leave you with that lovely little view through the trees now.